Very rarely, if ever, do I ever do an application suggestion. Because usually, I don't find applications that are all that great. I find okay applications, but never something phenomenal. Acid Search was one of those. I loved Acid Search. Uh, you can search my blog for Acid Search, A C I D S E A R C H. Um, and it's a great little application that allows you to search. I don't have it installed on this user, but you can use this bar and you can search YouTube, wherever you set up the search. It's very handy. It's kind of like the Firefox search bar, except it's much easier to add to. So that said, I have another application, and this application I use all the time. In fact, you've probably seen me using it um, inadvertently when I post the comments on a blog. Whenever I post a comment on a blog, I always have a signature. And rather than write out my signature, which is Mac Tipper, and then has a link to my blog that says my Mac Tipping blog, I use Repeatal Write instead. And what it allows me to do is all I have to type in, type in is SIG, in all lowercase is what I have said to. And it will write up the text for me. Saves me a lot of time. So let's download it. To download it, go to your browser, hit Command L, and type in app4mac.com. That's A P P, the number 4, Mac.com. Hit return. And we'll wait for it to load. Now that's loaded, we'll go to freeware. Alternatively, you could click on the freeware and click on the repeat or write button. Or you can go down here and hit repeat or write. And here we have the repeat or write uh, description page. It is free, yes, thankfully. And we'll click on the download button. And it's going to begin to download in just a sec. So almost done downloading. And now it's checking my disk image to make sure that's safe and find out what it is, and it will find out that's an application. And it's going to ask, it is asking me, do I want to download this because it's an application? I'll say yes because I voluntarily downloaded it. Now, if you're, down, if you're browsing the web and you inadvertently and you download something that you didn't know you were downloading, you probably want to say cancel. We're at the repeat or write page. We'll open up that the repeat or write install, and we'll click through this. And we'll see upgrade. We'll type in our password. And it's installing it rather quickly. There we are. We'll close that. Close that. Quit the installer. Eject repeat or write. And we did the skimmage. Now hit command space and type in repeato. And download repeat or write. And open up repeat or write. Now this is your opening screen for repeat or write. You will not see this again when you say OK. And you can choose where you want your default data location to be. We'll say choose. We'll hit the blue triangle button. And we'll go to home, library, application support. We'll create a new folder called Repito Rise. Actually, I should probably call it App for Mac. I'll say create, and we'll do it there. You can see there that it's completed a path for us. If you want to, you can import old data. Hit the Choose button and find where you want it. I don't have any old data. We'll say OK. And here we are at the Repito Write window. Now I want to delete all of the ones that they give us. And we'll say minus. And we want to create a new one. So we'll say plus in the lower left hand corner. Now this one, I'll do my signature example. We'll do SIG and we'll type in what we want. Type in Mac Tipper, A href, and then I'm writing in the HTML for my blog address. my Mac tipping blog and there we are now you can edit this text as you want so the way it's different fonts and alignments and all that however because this is plain HTML I don't need to do that 
Now we'll go to repeat or write preferences. You cannot do command comma for this. I wish you could, but you can't. Now you can choose um, whether or not you want suggestions or not. If you want case sensitive suggestions, or if you type in like my example is lowercase sig, if I type in lowercase lowercase sig, it will do it. However, if I type in capital sig or all caps sig, it won't. So that's case sensitive. Case insensitive is if I do caps sig, and suggestions case sensitive is if I type in signature. And while I'm typing in signature, they will suggest that I do the one I have predefined. I'll do case, case sensitive because I like that. We'll say OK and we will quit. Now it's a daemon program so it's running in the background and what we're going to do is we're going to go text edit and we will test out what we've done. So we'll type in SIG and they suggest it, suggest it and if I type it in N it goes away. So I can write in like Signature, and it's not there, but if I run sig, and then I hit the return button, it'll type in the text for me. Now you can do this for lots of stuff, but once again, I'm using this for my plain HTML example. And we'll convert this over plain text, hit command shift uh, T. We'll save this as an HTML file to our desktop, and we'll find out if I did my HTML right. We'll open this up, and I didn't. I need to edit that. Um, if you're going to do my what I'm doing with the HTML, you can you have to put in paragraph returns and all that. So we'll edit this. We'll add in a paragraph return. We'll quit. You have to quit it before your changes become effective. We'll type in sig again, and here we are. We'll say save, refresh the page. And it's still not how I want it to look. So you probably want to keep just you know keep editing it. Um, if you're doing HTML like this, we'll quit repeater writes. Um, if you're not doing HTML, then you can just go by what they show you. I guess that's what I'll have to do. We'll quit Safari, quit text edit. I hope that you enjoyed this tip, and I hope that you download repeater write. It is a great application. When I first saw the application, I was like, I'm never going to use that. But I found that I use it so much now. I've done stuff like I've assigned uh, shortcuts to my commonly used links, so that way, rather than um, hitting typing it in plain text, I can just type in like um, for coolosxapps.net. I'll type in cosk uh, cosx, and it will get there for me. So I hope that you enjoyed this tip, and I hope that you enjoy using repeater rights. Thanks for watching.